In this video, I'm going to show you how to load the updated firmware into a DCS WIU Wi-Fi interface unit. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the firmware file. In a previous video, I showed you how to download and save that. Go to our main page, mthtrains.com, and scroll down to the digital command system link and you would go to the download DCS software. If you need the manual for that, you can go right here on this page and select the manual. We have the firmware already, so our next step is to ensure that the WIU is set to MTH mode, and just make sure that the switch is flipped over to MTH. That way, the WIU will broadcast, and then you can connect to it. So what we're going to do here is come to our wireless networks and this does not matter whether you have a PC, a Mac, a tablet or a phone you are going to connect wirelessly to the uh, WIU so I'll come down here to my wireless networks and this happens to be the one that we want to connect to MTHDCS6702 and what we'll do is we will connect to this it's going to ask me for a security key it's the default password and it's located on the label on the bottom of the WIU. They're all the same. It's MTHDCSWIFI. And we'll hit next. And what it will do is then connect to the WIU. And you want to make sure that the WIU is in nearby range so that you can connect to it. You'll notice that I've got strong signal because it's sitting right next to me and once we are connected to the WIU it will tell us uh, connected uh, with no internet connection and a secured connection and it tells us no internet because there is no internet connection to a WIU the back end of the WIU is connected to a TIU to talk to trains not the internet so we are now connected to our WIU so the next step is to open up a web browser or another tab in your web browser and you enter in this IP address 192.168.143.1 and then hit enter this will open up the Lucy configuration interface this is how you talk to the WIU's inner workings and once this is connected and the screen is open it will give us a status page Okay, here's our status page, or actually our uh, login page, I'm sorry. So you want to log into your WIU. The username by default is root, always leave it as root, and your password is MTHDCS, and hit enter, or click login. And now here's our status page, and this tells you everything about the WIU, how long it's been running. Um, this particular piece right here where it says firmware version, this tells you, unfortunately, it's listed as a date code, and 2016-0107-1007 happens to be version 1.1. So my WIU actually already has 1.1 in it. Uh, however, if you do not show this date code in there, then you do not have version 1.1, and it doesn't hurt to reload it again. So what we'll do is we'll come up to System, Backup Flash Firmware, Okay, so now we're set here. Now we do want to come down to Flash New Firmware Image and this Keep Settings checkbox. If you leave it checked, any settings that you have put into there at, at any point in time, a new SSID, a new password, what have you, if you leave that box checked, it will keep those settings for you. So now what we want to do is we want to choose the file that we want to upload and it's the WIU1.1.0.bin. So we will grab that file and as you can see here, there it is, WIU110 bin. We select that and click open. And now it tells us that the image file is loaded into the machine's memory. And we are now ready to flash that file. So we click the flash image button. And we have a checksum and it verifies that the code file is actually correct. And everything looks good. The last step that you need to do here is click proceed. And now 
it's going to be sending the firmware via wireless over the air to the WIU. And this takes just a couple of minutes, so you want to make certain that you don't close the browser and you don't shut off the WIU power. Give it at least three minutes before you do anything with the browser or do anything with the WIU. If you happen to be looking at the WIU, you will see that it will actually reset and then come back up to its normal operating mode. So we'll wait a couple of minutes here and we'll come back and then we'll double check it. Okay, our WIU has been reset, uh, does it automatically, and we'll come back to our wireless networks, see if we're connected, and if we're not, then we'll connect to the WIU's SSID, so we'll click connect. Now this double check is not actually necessary, I like to do it just to make sure that everything worked correctly, and like I had showed you previously, the revision number uh, that's a date code will show up in the status page. So once we are connected, then we can go and check the status page and verify. Okay, we're connected to the WIU. So we open up a web browser, or a new tab in the web browser, type in the IP address 192.168.1431 right here, and hit enter. And we'll connect back to the WIU. Here's our login page again. Leave the username as root. Password is MTHDCS. And hit enter or click login. And here's our status page. And you can see that under firmware version, we have MTH Wi Fi DCS 2016 0107 1007. That means we have version 1.1 and we are all set.